waste. Where will we store it and how can we ensure that it's going to be safe for hundreds of thousands of years? You're right, nuclear feels very dangerous if it's unshielded and we do need to take care to ensure our safety. You might be surprised though to learn that there's actually never been a single death from used nuclear fuel in the entire history of commercial nuclear power. How is that possible? If you stood right next to hot nuclear waste, you'd die in like a few minutes. Well, that may be true, people aren't allowed to do that. The nuclear waste you might be thinking of actually looks like these. There are ceramic fuel rods inside of metal tubes. After they spend five years in a reactor making loads of energy, they chill in a pool for a few more years, and then they're put into drag casks like these, where they're encased in two feet of concrete and a few inches of steel. These casks protect the fuel so well that you can actually hug the outside of them and receive no more radiation than you would from eating a banana. Well, where are they gonna put all these casks? I don't want the spent nuclear fuel in my backyard. Well, for now, most of these casks live on site of the nuclear plants where they were produced. Some countries, like Finland, are building permanent underground storage where the waste will be encased deep in stable rock back where the uranium first came from. This is possible in the US, but politics has historically come in the way. But won't the waste be radioactive for like a million years? How could we even make sure it's safe for that long? In short, after 600 years, you'd literally have to eat it for it to hurt you, but we'll talk about that more in our next video.